What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Trail here. Come at you. Squad. Roll to 100K. Get us some subscriptions, y'all. Got a deck profile for you guys today. Most people call it Crusadius. I don't use that word. We playing with Palladians. Let's go ahead and get into it. First thing first, you got my boy Rescue Cat right here. I think it's a boy. Maybe you'll tell me it's a girl. We want to so many genders here. But you got Rescue Cat right here. Pretty much what it says is you're going to attribute this card to special summon two beast monsters, two level three or lower beast monsters from your deck. Their effects are negated and destroyed during the end phase, but they're not going to make it to the end phase, so it's all good. Got to run three. This is a really good starting card. So next, we're going to put out there, we're going to play one Valerifon, mythical beast, mythical beast of the Forest. Pretty much it's just a level two tuner because you play the Tree Beast in the deck, and you can get it out with the Rescue Cat, so that's one of your targets, which is really good. And the follow-up to go, excuse me, along with that, it's triple Palladian Leonis, so that's another beast. So if you get you go Rescue Cat and this and Palladian Leonis, you got the, you got your Natria Beast right here, and you still got another monster to make it to start your plays off. So that's really good. Um, but this card, pretty much, what it does on the field is it targets a Link monster and it gives that Link monster piercing damage, which is really good because your monsters get really big in this deck, so your opponent's gonna try to defend out. And you don't have time for this, so we just running through shit. All right. Next is Triple Palladian Draco. This card is really good because it's recursion. Uh, whenever this card is normal or special summoned to a zone that a Link Monster points to, um, you're allowed to get a uh, Palladian Monster back from the graveyard to your hand, which is really good because if you don't get the OTK the first go around, you just go for it again. So you always have resources to keep making plays because that's the biggest thing about this deck is having the resources to keep making plays so to keep laddering up into your boss monster. So this card is really, really awesome for that. Next one of my favorite ones is uh, Palladian Arborea. Uh, pretty much, she's also a tuner as well. She's a level 3 tuner. She's a warrior if you decide to play Rota so you can search her. But her effect is in the graveyard, if you have a Link monster that would be destroyed by a battle card effect, you can actually banish her from the graveyard instead. Um, she's a hard once per Actually, they're all hard once per turn, but I wish she wasn't hard once per turn because there's a lot of negation and, and destruction out here in the game. So, But usually, you don't need just to, just to get through one and you pretty much got game. But she's really, really good. I like her a lot. After that, we got two Palladian Reclusia. Pretty much this card says whenever it's normal or special summon to a zone that a Link Monster points to, you can target one Palladian on your side of the field and one card on your opponent's side of the field. Destroy both of them. Which, and it also includes itself, so it's really cool. But the cool thing about that as well, though, is that if you can, if you have this on the field and you use the effect and you have this in Graveyard, you can banish this and it'll keep this alive. So you're still laddering up into your big guy. And you're also doing some spot removal. So this card's really good. It's really small, though, and doesn't really do a lot, so it's only running it at two. Uh, next, we got a triple Palladium Maximus. This is probably the best one out of all. One of my favorite ones. Um, this one here pretty much just says you target a Link monster that you control, and uh, that turn any damage that it does when battling a monster is doubled. So I say your monsters already get big anyway. So now they, not only do they get big, but whenever they do damage, it's double that damage. So you're definitely hitting high numbers. So as long as your opponent got a monster, which nine times out of ten they will have one, you're killing them. This card is just lovely. I don't know why they made this super and, and the rest of them commons and rares, but you know it's cool. Be that way, Konami. I wish they were all pretty, but they were easy to get, so I'm not too upset. Last for the monster that just dropped from the hand would be a uh, two World Legacy World Crown. This card pretty much has the same ability as uh, other Palladian monsters, and even though it's not a Palladian, has the ability of the Palladian monster to where it can be special summoned from the hand to a zone that a Link monster points to. And its effect is whenever a monster that was special summoned from the extra deck activates its effect, you can tribute this card to negate the activation and destroy that monster. It also has a secondary effect of whenever this normal summon or set monster is tributed. Um, then you also get to search out a World Legacy uh, spell or trap from the deck. And it's level 6, so there will be times when you actually probably will tribute off a monster to uh, actually normal summon this, just so you can get that additional, because it's 2,000 base attack. And all your link monsters go up by the attack of whatever monster it points to, so this is a good free 2,000. So you, in the case that you do actually use the uh, normal summon for it, it has an additional effect, which is really cool. Uh, next we got for the monsters, we got Triple Ash because it's an OTK, excuse me, OTK deck. So we're always trying to stop our opponent from doing things, you know, that might hinder hinder us on the next turn. So there's not much that really gets past an OTK deck besides a lot of negations and a lot of just, you know, field presence. So this just kind of helps slow it down a little bit, kind of like forces them to play they don't want to go through. It's Ash. We all know what it does. Um, and then last but not least for the monster, it's Gamma Field because we want to choose what, what they have on the field. We're pretty much all about just control. Like, we control with our LTK, so they have a boss monster on the field that's a problem. Give them the Gamma Seal, make sure it points to your Link monster. Your Link monster is going to go up by the attack of this monster because it points to it. And once again, we're going for the LTK. So you give them a Gamma Seal, you got the effect of Maximus in play to where you're doing double damage. I mean, and also if you got Leonis in play to where you're trampling, there's really not anything stopping you. So it's really awesome. That's it for the monsters. For the spells, we got one Crusader Revival. It's the uh, field spell. 
pretty much it gives uh, all your uh, pl me, Palladian Link Monsters 500 attack. Also, you can choose one of your Link Monsters, and for that turn, um, you can attack all the monsters on your opponent's side of the field once each. And no other monsters can attack when you do that, but you don't care because all your link monsters already say that the monster that it points to can't attack anyway. So you're still just beating face with that one big monster. And like I said, it gets pretty big, so you just kind of ladder through your opponent's resources. So even if they were like, so even if they have like a full field of link monsters, if you, just if you just get one out there, you're just gonna beat through all of them. They don't have to die. It doesn't matter. Just doing damage. I'm always about playing cards that stop my opponent from stopping me. So I play triple Palladian Power. This card pretty much just says that you target a, a Palladium monster on your side of the field, and it's unaffected by the effects of all of the cards except for itself. And uh, I think this is a hard once per turn too, which really sucks. But it's cool. I understand why. This is a quick play, which makes it really, really good. This card is really powerful. This should have been a super rare instead of the uh, field spell. That's my thinking. But I played three of them because your opponent has to try to stop you. They're gonna go first, so they're gonna be setting up. So your whole thing is, you just you just gotta make sure you push through whatever they set up. You just make sure you play through the right things, and this card pretty much allows you to do that. <clears throat> Next, we got everybody's favorite card, Sky Striker Mecha Hornet Drones. <clears throat> you guys love that. I'm pretty much just a free monster because the thing is, with all the monsters in the main deck, they pretty much just say that they have to um, be split something to a zone that a, a, a monster, uh, that a link monster points to. So you, you play something like Hayate and so who actually points, you know, who actually points down, which is really cool. So you can actually play the drones, get the Hayate, and then special summon one of your. Um, Palladian main deck monsters to the you know to the zone and so they get their effect as well. So just kinda of laddering up through that way. Plus it's drones. We play we're in the link format. Any free monsters are always good. Next, another card that stops my opponent from stopping me, called by the grave. So we do a lot of searching and things like that. We put and we do a lot of activated effects. So we don't want like ghost orbs and ashes coming out of the way and just interfering with us. So I, only, I play two. I only play two because I play triple uh, Palladian power. I mean you can choose your own ratios. I'd either play three of this and two of that. But since that one's actually searchable, I went to and play three of that because I like that card a lot. But now this one isn't a, isn't one's return. That's one thing that makes it better. But we just don't want to be stopped. Can't stop, won't stop. Rockefeller, baby. Y'all understand. Next, we got one monster reborn because we always just trying to get bigger. We just trying to take stuff. We just want monsters on outside the field just to boost up our Lord and Savior, Big Man, Equimax. All right? So, monster reborn. Then next, we got two more monster reborns. Very simple. These are monster reborns that say you got to spend some of the monsters to a zone or link monster points to. You're going to do that anyway. Hard once per turns, but it's all good. You just need that one turn anyway. So we're playing essentially three months reborns. Also with the three Draco, which is also three more cards from the graveyard. So really good. Uh, next two other cards I've been trying out. I, um, they actually do pretty good for me. Um, they're just one for ones. I'm playing a two pinpoint landing. Just basically states when exactly one monster is special summoned from your hand to your field. Uh, you get to draw a card. And the event that you don't use this effect for that turn, this card gets sent to the graveyard. A lot of times you just need it for that one. And I'm only just running it two because I don't want to run it three because it's not a power play. But I also want to see it. So two is a good enough number for me. And last but not least, we're going to play one Palladium Vanguard. Um, whenever you activate this card, you get a tribute off a uh, Palladium Monster. You can spend summon another Palladium Monster or World Legacy Monster from your deck or graveyard. Um... To his own. So a lot of times, what I do is if I have a small, like one of my small Palladians on the on the field, I attribute it off and bring out the World Crown from the deck. Cause also it gives my Link Monster an additional 2,000 attack, and also it has an additional effect of negating the special summon monster's effect. And also while this card is faceable on the field, uh, your opponent has to, uh, can only attack uh, Link Monsters. They have to attack. If they're gonna attack, they gotta run through it. And remember, your Link Monsters get really big, so either they don't either they're removing it or they're not, or they're not getting over it at all. That's it for the main deck. We're gonna go into the extra deck. It's pretty fun, I think. Uh, you got your one Sky Striker Ace Kagari because, of course, we, we were always reusing drones. Always, always reusing drones. Next, you got your one Sky Striker Ace Hayate. I just love this card. One, because it's green, it's my favorite color. But two, just because of the fact that this card can actually uh, this card can attack directly. People seem to, I don't know why people forget that, but it can attack directly. And um, that can get you a lot of game because, like, 1500 attack is pretty good. But also, whenever it does attack directly, you can send a uh, Sky Striker card from the deck to the graveyard. So you're pretty much going to make this attack directly, send the drones, make the Kagari, add the drones back, play the drones. We got next level plays here, people. And also it points down, which is really good because you can play pretty much, you can put a Palladium monster here and get their effect off of their searches or whatever, which is also really awesome. Next we got uh, Triple Crusader Mag uh, Magis. This is pretty much your starter whenever you, when you're about to ladder up to your OTK. Just takes one um, Palladium monster. Whenever a play, whenever a monster, a, an effect monster is special summoned to, the, to a zone, that it points to, then you're allowed to search a Palladium monster from the uh, deck to the hand. So if you use this in like in 
conjunction. I don't know anything with like Draco. That's like it's like a twofer. You make one monster. You, you, you like I'm sorry. You summon one monster to make this. Then you go Draco. So Draco to add that monster back, and this will add something from the uh, from the deck to the hand. So you're just always going to keep advantage to make sure you ladder up. Next, we're playing Regulex. Pretty much what he does is kind of the same thing, but this uh, whenever you special summon to a zone point suit, then it allows you to search out a. Um, Palladian spell a trap. So you're trying to get your power, you're trying to get your revival. Maybe you're getting your vanguard. You don't really need vanguard unless it just make you go first. But you, you you're probably going for power. Unless you already unless you already have the power, then you're gonna go for the revival because it's a one of anyway. So that's just what it is. And remember, all of your Palladian uh link monsters say that any monster that it points to can't attack anyway. So that counts both ways, which is really awesome. And not only that, like you don't really care for this because like this is gonna link, it's gonna ladder up. But also all of them, they also all gain the attack of the monsters that they point to as well. So this is in the middle and it's pointing to two different monsters. It gains the attack of both of those monsters, which is really cool. Uh, next we got a few other simple plays. We got the uh, Nightmare Cerberus, the uh, Nightmare Phoenix, and the Nightmare Unicorn package. This is just a really good package for, for spy removal. Because every now and then there will be something that will be a trouble. And so you just you just use these to get rid of the monsters that, that will be in your way. We just we don't play those kind of games. Uh, next is one of my big favorites, it's always gonna be one of my favorites. You got your boy, boy, little dragon here. You can make it. Sometimes you just can't get. Well, you can probably get big enough, but you just, you just can't get around something. We just gonna take it. I like to take stuff that's not mine, but it's not called stealing though. All right, just remember that. The one boy, low. Next, the big boss daddy, Lord and Savior. Maybe mommy. I don't know. We're assuming gender again. Played in Equal Max. It's card base two thousand. It takes uh, it's, it's a link three, and pretty much. As you see, it has three different point, uh, three different uh, link markers, so it gains the attack of all the monster points. That's why you want to put that uh, that gamma seal right here in front of it, and then you want to go ahead and give it that good old Maximus down here. You want to probably give it Leonidas and give it the revival. This is your OTK guy right here. He also has an effect of where he can you can tribute off a uh, Palladian that he points to, and you can negate a, a card on on your opponent's side of the field, which is really good. So you can if they have something that's in the way, you, you summon this, you tribute it off, and you can still put something down there and give it more attack. Last but not least, we're gonna run the Perform Pal Gatlin Ghoul, and you make this by using your imagination, because really it's supposed to be another one of these, but I only have one, so y'all need to find me a second one because I want to play this deck at regionals. But yeah, we're gonna, you only need two of them because I said you're going for OTK, and if you really have a problem where you use both of them and you haven't killed them, you play Draco. But if you use both of these and you haven't killed them, then you're probably doing it wrong anyway. Oh yeah, one more thing before I forget. I was telling you guys about the extra deck. I said we ran the Turret Beast in the deck, but I didn't show y'all the Turret Beast. So here's, here's the Turret Beast because we do run it. I swear to God, I'm playing it. I'm not joking. And also, I played one other card. It was F.A. Dawn Dragster because we run enough tuners to make it as well. I'm a really bad player. I forgot about that, you guys. But love you. Okay, bye. So that is the deck, you guys. Um, I kind of I had to, I had to pick it up. I, it kind of reminds me of Cubics. Cubics are better. But it kind of reminds me of Cubics, so I had to pick it up and play it. Hopefully, you guys see a few duels on the channel with it, um, especially when I get my other uh, Lord and Savior uh, Equal Max. Palladians all day. We ain't playing Crusadius.